This documentary addresses a series of events that changed history forever. We will present facts that led to a revolution in the nuclear field and changed the course of applications of nuclear energy. In 1939, Albert Einstein wrote a letter warning President Roosevelt that Germany was capable of building an atomic bomb. Germany had invaded Poland and World War II started. After reading Einstein's letter, President Roosevelt decided that research on a superweapon should start. A group of scientists led by Enrico Fermi were paid a very small amount of funds to create the first controlled, self-sustaining nuclear chain reaction. After the experiment proved successful, President Roosevelt decided that in order to control Germany's power in Europe, the United States should develop an ultimate weapon. And this is how the Manhattan Project started. The Manhattan Project was the most ambitious scientific undertaking ever launched in American history. During the course of three years, this massive project with the goal of producing two nuclear bombs was accomplished. The project was led by General Leslie Groves and took place in three sites in the United States. Oak Ridge, Tennessee, Los Alamos, New Mexico, and Hanford, Washington. The work at these sites resulted in two nuclear bombs. Little Boy, made of enriched uranium, and Fat Man, made of plutonium. President Roosevelt didn't live to see the end of the war. He was replaced by Harry Truman in April 1945. Germany had surrendered in May 1945 and the war ended in Europe. But Japan stood as America's only enemy. In order to force the Japanese to surrender and to put an end to World War II, President Truman ordered the drop of Little Boy in Hiroshima and Fat Man in Nagasaki. It is almost impossible to imagine the devastation and human suffering caused by the explosion of atomic bombs in these two cities. After the end of the war, several countries embarked in a nuclear race. China, France, England, and Russia tested nuclear bombs and made clear to the world that they were nuclear weapon states. In an attempt to put an end to this nuclear race, President Eisenhower delivered his Atoms for Peace speech during the United Nations General Assembly in 1953. President Eisenhower believed that while nuclear weapons loomed as the ultimate war cloud, Nuclear power offered progress and hope. He proposed the creation of an international agency which would be responsible for nuclear material control, accountancy and verification, and promote the peaceful applications of atomic energy. In 1957, the International Atomic Energy Agency was created. However, the nuclear race continued while the United States and the Soviet Union engaged in a Cold War, threatening the world with a Third World War. The international community decided to stop the further spread of nuclear weapons to provide security for non-nuclear weapon states which have given up the nuclear option, to encourage international cooperation in the peaceful uses of nuclear energy, and to pursue negotiations 
towards nuclear disarmament, leading to the eventual elimination of nuclear weapons. To document these commitments, 59 countries signed the Treaty for Nuclear Non-Proliferation, the NPT, in 1968. Today, the NPT is the most widely accepted arms control agreement with 189 parties. Since its creation in 1957, the International Atomic Energy Agency has promoted, encouraged, and sponsored the peaceful uses of nuclear energy around the world. Nuclear applications in agriculture, food, human and animal health, and water have saved millions of lives. Food irradiation is the best way to kill microbes, ensuring safe and high quality foods for consumers. Studies of soil irradiation examine how plants absorb fertilizers and help farmers learn when to use fertilizers and how much to use. Nuclear radiation has also been used to examine livestock such as cows, pigs, and sheep to look at how illnesses affect the animals. Potable water is in short supply in many parts of the world and nuclear energy is already being used for desalination. But perhaps the most important application of nuclear energy in addition to the generation of energy is application in human health. Nuclear technology addresses the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of health problems. Radiotherapy is one of the major cost-effective cancer treatments along with diagnostic radiology and nuclear medicine procedures for tumor localization. Nuclear medicine procedures treat cancer. It is also used to study molecular biology to fight diseases such as tuberculosis, malaria, and HIV AIDS. Nuclear energy went through a revolutionizing process. What started as warfare application today helps save lives and improves the quality of life around the world.